In this video, we're going to implement dice rolling in Python. So in rolling dice, we have a certain number of dice and a certain number of sides per dice. So for example, we might roll two six-sided dice. The first thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter in the number of dice and the number of sides. So we'll have dice is equal to int input with the string dice colon as an argument. So the user is first going to be prompted with the text dice colon. The user will then be able to enter in a string, and the input function is going to return that string. Int will convert that string to an int value, and we're going to store that into dice. Now we have to have at least one dice in order to be able to perform a dice roll. So if the number of dice entered is less than or equal to zero, we're going to exit with an error message. So we'll print out an error message for the user. We'll have print must have at least one dice and then we'll use quit to quit the program. Now we'll do the same thing with sides. So sides is equal to int input sides colon. So the user is again going to be prompted, this time with the text sides, and we're gonna store the number of sides they enter into the sides variable. And again, we have to have at least one side in order to be able to perform a dice roll. So we'll have if sides is less than or equal to zero, Again, we'll exit with an error message. We'll print out must have at least one side, followed by quit to quit the program. So something like a six-sided dice is going to have six faces, one, two, three, four, five, and six. And to roll the dice, we're going to have to randomly select one of these faces. To help us with random number generation, we're going to import the random module. So up here, We'll have import random to import the random module. Now the random module has a function called randint, and the randint function is going to return a random integer in a particular range that we specify with arguments. So if I said randint one and six, this function is going to return a random integer between one and six. The number of sides for our dice has been specified by the user. So we're gonna have randint return a number from one to sides. Now we also need to perform a dice roll for each dice. So what we'll do is start off with an initially empty list. We'll call that list roll. Then what we'll do is create a loop to perform each dice roll. So we'll have four i in range zero to dice. So this loop is going to iterate for each dice. And what we'll do is generate a random face for each dice. We'll have face is equal to random.randint from one to sides. And we'll append that face that we just rolled to the roll list. So we'll have roll.append face. And then we can print out the result of our roll. So we'll have print roll to print out the resulting faces in our dice roll. So we can save our program and test it out. We can enter in two for the dice and six for the sides to roll two six-sided dice, and we get six and one as a result. We could try it again. This time we'll try to roll four dice, and again, six sides, and we get six, five, two, and three. So it does appear to be pretty random. We could try it one more time. We'll enter in five for the dice, and this time, 10 for the sides and we can see we're getting numbers in the range from one to 10 now. If I tried to enter in something bad for the number of sides, like let's say negative one sides, we get must have at least one side. It'll be the same way for the number of dice. So if I enter in zero dice, I get the error message must have at least one dice. And again, the way that the algorithm works is that we start off with an initially empty list of faces. Then we have this loop iterate once for each dice. For each dice, we're gonna randomly select a face for that dice and store it into face. We append that face to the list of faces in our roll, and then here we print out the roll. Now, one thing we could do is put this logic in a function. So that way we could call the function at different places in our source code, wherever we need to perform a dice roll. So what we'll do is cut this here and then create a function up here. We'll call the function dice underscore roll 
and the function will have two parameters, the number of dice and the number of sides. And the function will carry out the same logic. We'll have roll is equal to an empty list, and then we'll have the same loop that's gonna perform each dice roll and append the result to roll. Then here, we're going to return roll. We're going to return the list of faces that resulted from rolling the dice. And then down here, we could call the dice roll function to perform the dice roll. We'll have dice underscore roll with dice and sides as arguments. So we could save this and run a program. We'll try to have four dice with eight sides. And again, we've successfully rolled the dice, this time using our function instead. So this is how we can simulate a dice roll using Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.